lead code 572 subtree of another tree. And uh, as you can see, first of all, they claim it is an easy problem. Yes, but I would say it's more of a medium problem and that's because of two reasons. First of all, trees are related to graph theory and this is something that most developers don't deal with on a daily basis. Yeah, so if you have problems, let's say, that just test uh, your understanding and uh, basic operations on arrays or strings, then of course it is an easy problem. But trees already on their own are something which is more exotic like for most uh, developers. So to have a really easy problem with trees is a bit hard, <laughs> I would say. And uh, even here, it's not really uh, like uh, to, to get an optimal solution or e even an, any solution at all. You will still have to think about multiple cases like if else and so on and so forth. Yeah, so based on this, uh, I would say that it's more of a medium problem. And uh, all I'm trying to say is if you failed to implement it on your own, then don't worry because there are definitely medium problems that are <laughs> easier than that easy. Yeah, and let's take a look to it. Uh, but of course, when it comes to problems related to trees, this one is one of the easiest. And that's why maybe it's classified as easy. So long story short, just uh, let's uh, start with uh, the description itself. Given the roots of two binary trees, root and subroot. Yeah, so already a lot of things. Uh, two binary trees. Yeah? Binary trees are, of course, trees which have at most, where each node has at most two children. And as you can see here below, there is some visualization, which is always nice. And uh, nodes are basically those circles. They can store some values. In this case, um, uh, those are integers. And they have also those connections. Yeah, And those connections go in one direction. Uh, uh, the parent knows about its children. Yeah, and the children are, of course, again, those circles with numbers inside. And at most, each parent can have two children, yeah, which is, of course, important when you try to write a proper solution. You need to think about those kinds of things. Yeah, so this is a binary tree. And uh, root and subroot, uh, let's take a look on the right side to the code. Those are objects of three node class. Yeah, and three node. Uh, is uh, this class which represents those circles. Yeah, so you have value, a label or a data which is stored inside the node. You have left and right, yeah, and those are the connections to the children. Yeah, left and right are both children, and here can be uh, like if a uh, uh, given node has a children, then on this uh, uh, at this place, there would be an object, again, of uh, the same class. That's why uh, those connections are a little bit, could be a little bit confusing, but it's uh, really important to highlight what's uh, really happening here. Yeah, so it could be either none if there is no children or uh, or could be an, another object of uh, the same class yeah, on both left and right. Okay, and we have to return true if there is a subtree of root with the same structure and node values of some root and false otherwise. Yes, yeah, so a true false basically means that output is Boolean, uh, which uh, in most cases makes life easier than, let's say, creating some uh, arrays or gathering some objects and returning them uh, when the output is either integer or binary. It's usually, uh, or, or Boolean, it's usually the easiest uh, out of all possible options. And uh, then uh, what we have to do, we have to check uh, about uh, those subtrees. Yeah, and it will be uh, explained uh, in detail uh, below what exactly are those subtrees. Yeah, and of course, if this subroot represents a subtree of root, then we can return true, otherwise false. And here they explain further, a subtree of a binary tree called tree is a tree. <laughs> and uh, usually when they highlight, um, when they highlight words like this, then they represent something from the code. But in this case, no, there is no structure called tree itself. Yeah, so it's just uh, for the sake of this short explanation. But here on the right side, you, there is no such structure called tree. We will only operate on nodes themselves. 
and uh, is a tree that consists of a node in tree and all of these nodes descendants the tree could also be considered a subtree of itself yeah okay so this is important that if they are exactly the same then it's also okay yeah it's uh, exactly the same meaning their values of those roots and values of all the descendants and the connections between all the descendants and the number of all the descendants and so on is all the same and yeah, so it could be that uh, there are like different objects in memory, but they have, they represent basically the same trees. In this case, it's also a sub valid subtree. And the second thing is that once we start a point from which the subtree starts, all the descendants have to match up until the end. And this will be explained here between those examples. So let's take a look here. We have first example, uh, root, the bigger tree, the tree that can theoretically be bigger uh, uh, that is built like this and a sub root uh, sub tree which is uh, which looks like this and in this case it's valid because once we start uh, once we find a node which can potentially start to a sub tree similar to the one that we try to check so here is four and here is four as well then all the descendants yeah below have to also match and here it's one here is one as well, two, two as well. Everything matches, we return true. But here is a very similar case. Second example. And as you can see, there is also four, four, one, one, two, and two. But this is not a valid subtree because it has one more descendant. Yeah, so once it starts, the everything below that has to match. Yeah, but it can start in any point in the tray, which is something that we have to uh, remember and uh, here this representation has nothing to do with the code yeah so we will not have uh, the input given in such a such list of integers there will be already objects of this class and we just have the first object and we move uh, through the tree by traversing those left and right connections yeah so this is just a uh, little bit misleading, yeah? and we will not have input given in such form. So let's now try to think about it uh, for a second. And let's copy that and try to figure out a solution. A node in tree and all of its descendants. And that's one point and three can also be a subtree of itself. That's the second point. It's worth remembering. Okay, like this. This, and uh, let's put it in an orange rectangle. And now let's try to draw some tree. And let's make four. So and how it works are uh, three, four, five. And one and two. Uh, now let's add the connections. So go from here, we have two children, and that node four also has two children. And basically, to find whether uh, a tree is a subtree of another tree, we will have to uh, implement uh, certain checks. So the most low level check will be to compare if two nodes are identical or maybe are two nodes like this the same yeah and when are the two nodes the same and this is this all if else uh, if if both are none
and if both or another case if both have the same value or if bo both store the same value and once we validate that if yeah so let's say we have that node 4 and there is some tree which also starts in 4 then we also have to check uh, the children as well yeah so if they are both none that is it's okay but uh, if they have the same value then we need to recheck the children again and repeat if we can uh if we can repeat that validation for both children repressive so okay wanted to make sure that it's uh, correctly written okay and then uh, how to check if uh, the tree uh, itself is a uh, subtree then we would have to find uh, the first node which will match and then all the sub nodes have to match as well okay. so to figure out starting from root and sub root whether we have a sub a valid subtree we have to find first matching node uh, and then validate for all the descendants. Yeah, so basically, uh, once we have both, let's move this down. And uh, let's and make it like this. The same tree and uh, and we start from the roots like this, yeah, and we have to, we'll have to compare them one by one up until we find a match like this, and then we enter this uh, recursive check or up until we reach a point where there are no more descendants for uh, the main tree and uh, in this case you can say that there is for sure uh, that the f for sure this uh, the second tree is not a valid subtree of the first tree and so first we will start from the top those are those two inputs that we have root and subroot yeah? and we try to compare on them, checking by whether they're both none or whether uh, they both store the same value. And if they store, then we start this recursive uh, uh, checking. And in this case, they don't. So we leave it the way it is, the subtree, but we move the check for the tree uh, to the next children, yeah, uh, to the next child. First, we can start with left uh, or right, doesn't matter. Yeah, and in this case, they are valid, so we will proceed like this. We check if the left child is valid, it is valid, and then right child, and so on. And in this case, we have found a match, but uh, otherwise, we would uh, continue up until there are no more possible children to check if there is no valid subtree. Yeah, and that's more or less it. Yeah, so we have to check those uh, couple of uh, conditions and once the conditions are met for a single node then we can have to repeat for the children as well so let's try we'll use uh, 
alpha function is same yeah to to validate this part and we can have node and sub node or node a, node a and node b we can call it however we want and they are the same if both are none not node and not sub node if one of them is none and, and the other is um initialized object of three nodes yeah then for sure they are not the same and um the next check is whether their values are the same yeah and the values are stored under val so if node val is not equal to sub node val then also return false otherwise return is same for the left child yeah we have to compare the left child here and here and the right child as well right this yeah left and right and of course this will again uh, go recursively into this function and do the same checks and if they have again uh children those children themselves then it will repeat up until we reach either that both of them are none or one of them is none and we can say that either they are the same or uh they are different in, in a level yeah and we can check that if is same we can call it on the roots uh, if already the roots are the same then for sure one is the sub true of another now uh, we can return true otherwise we have to call it recursively again but pay attention which function right now not this but this the whole function itself yeah and we move this root but this one the other one stays the same yeah so the root becomes left child and the sub root stays the same or, of course, the sub tree can be also on the right side. Yeah, so we have to check both. Let's try. If I didn't miss anything. And yes, uh, we can add additional if, if root is none, then for sure there is no more subtrees to check and yeah, because the root can be none unfortunately or just it is a case that we have to handle it's not fortunate or unfortunate <laughs> just another case yeah and in the uh, we have uh, passed the first two cases so let's see how we, uh how it will go on all the cases and we have quite a slow algorithm Let's try to rerun and see if it will change drastically. It doesn't change. And that's because, of course, we are using recursion. Uh, and there is an option to make it a bit faster. We could, for example, use an iterative approach, which sometimes makes uh, stuff a bit faster. Uh, we could also try to serialize it to a string and then do a comparisons on strings. We could also, for example, uh, what else? There are more advanced algorithms like KPM algorithm and so on. But because it's an easy problem and uh, we just want to have a 
working solution. We will not do it right now, but maybe in the future, uh, I will try to implement some of those other solutions as well.